Uh, welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this uh, clip, we're gonna talk about a mid segment of a triangle. And you notice here I have a triangle ABC, and um, I'm gonna click here. Um, by the way, this app uh, that I use, you will find it in the description of this video clip. And you notice I click on this first box that will show me a mid segment of this triangle, the mid segment DE. Uh, the mid segment is the segment created by the these two endpoints. This uh, point, endpoint D is the midpoint of segment AB, and you notice uh, the fact that AD is congruent to DB. That's the reason this is the midpoint, and also point E is the midpoint of AC, and you notice also AE is congruent to VC. And the first property of this mid segment D is that is half of the third segment of the triangle in, uh, in this case BC. You notice uh, BC is 8, DE it's 4. And I can play with this triangle and move these vertices and I'm gonna get the same property I mentioned. Uh, if I wanna go back to the original picture, I just click here on the right side and I'm back to the original picture. Let's see the second property. Second property of this mid segment is that the mid segment is parallel with the third side. So DE is parallel with BC. In this case, these two segments are parallel segment. And you notice here uh, the measure of angle AED and measure of angle ACB is around 35 degrees. Those are corresponding angle. And the same, the other pair, measure of angle ADE equals the measure of angle ABC uh, around 78 degrees. That tells us DE parallel with BC. But we have another mid segment. I, I call it C mid segment number two, this one. And you notice uh, this is the mid segment given by the endpoints E and F, F being the uh, midpoint of segment BC. We have the same properties. If you notice, FE is half of uh, AB, and FE is parallel of AB. And we have a third mid segment, the last one in this triangle, which is DF, which has the same properties. Uh, DF is half of AC, and DF is also parallel of uh, AC. And you notice now we have uh, four triangle here. And let me unclick this and move to the next slide, this one. These four triangles are all the same. They are congruent triangle. Uh, that should tell you, first of all, that the area of any of these small triangles is one fourth of the area of the big triangle. That is a property that sometimes you may need it. And another one that is very useful is this second property. The perimeter of any of these small triangles, it's half of the perimeter of the big triangle. A, B, C. And the, in fact, the ratio of similarity between any of these small triangle and the big triangle is uh, one half. The small triangle is a reduction of the big triangle by a scale of factor of one half. If you want to go back to, to the beginning of this app, you're going to click here and you're back to the beginning. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back. And C-square for more help. Thank you.